Morning, welcome back to the vlog. It's a really warm one today. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, I'm about to do a very stupid thing. I'm going up to uh, Gravia for a walk. So I'm going up the hill. I'm going to go up the side of the Little Prince, up not Little Prince, up the side of the uh, Yanis restaurant. I'm going to go up that track there. I'll show you which way I go uh, so you can make your own mind up if it's good for you. It's quite steep but it is short. I think it's the best way and I might walk back down the Bendy Road past the Peros and past the Jasmine but we'll see. We'll see. So uh, yeah, I'll take you with me. I'm going to just put a hat on now and then we're uh, good to go. Right, so we're going this way now. There we go. So left out the barris. Show you along here, look. All George and Dimitri's nice signs there. So this will only be filmed in little bursts because it's, it's an action camera. It'll run out if a. Uh... There you go. We'll look at the at the tasty corner crossroads, as I think it's affectionately known by many. Let's try and not get killed. Of mud right so there in front of me there you can see Yanis restaurant on the right hand side so what we do is we go past there so I'll show you the path from when you once you get past there so right what you do is there's Yanis restaurant and the car park is here there so this is the way now what I'm gonna do is I've got a little chest mount for this so I'll uh, I'll clip you onto there and then you can see the walk up here so yeah I'll keep filming little little bursts as I go up this hill somebody's a little abode there I got noticed that last time so grass is a bit long you gotta watch where you're going I think I saw a snake up here once, so just be careful. Just turned you round there so you get a perspective of the view back down. That's the old, what was Mythica years ago down there, that sort of beigey, yellowy building. Okay, so this is the steeper bit now. Oh yeah, now, I don't remember these these railings and it has got sort of some red tape so I don't know but come on let's go for it keep going up this hill so you'll hopefully see here there's a bit of a bit of a clearing I don't really remember that either last time I came up here that building but must have been here anyway another steep bit but hopefully up there near that flag you can see the end is in sight right just can look back there and see the resort down there yeah it's steep but it's short so we're nearly there there's another little place I've just spotted there it's got some swings but it's, I don't know, it looks like a, there's one set of burner. Again, I've probably, I've probably done this walk three times, but I don't remember any of this at all. That bit, so. The flag. Let's crack on up this hill. Nearly there now. Essential to bring with you on a day like this. Some water. Not a massive fan of water, but you need it if you're doing this walk. So yeah, nearly there. So up there is Aquateri Bar. So they do amazing salads, beers, lovely coffees, milkshakes, well worth the walk. I'll just show you the view over here if I can. Let's just get up to, wow. 
get ready for this. There we go, just walking back down now to what is Gravia, Taverna, restaurant, bar, whatever you want to call it. Lovely place, run by Costa. So yeah, this road here is where you can come up the other way. Um, you go up past the Peros, past the Jasmine, past the tennis courts, round the hairpin bends and you hang a right. Uh, and eventually you go through like a little sort of village, a really small place, and it brings you out just up here. So yeah, there we go. So that took me about the Barris, probably 15 minutes max. So I've got a beautiful coffee here, as you've seen. Lovely, he's even put a little rose in the top. You must know that I'm from Yorkshire. I think you saw the Leeds badge, even though that's the old one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sit and drink this, taking the view. First coffee I've had in a while, actually, while I've been here. I watched the heartburn. Might even have a sugar. I don't normally have that, but it'll charge me up for the walk back. So yeah, I'll show you some more views and then I'll set off back. Cheers. Lovely coffee there. Um, must visit place. He does a cracking. I don't, well, people go on an, on an evening. I think I'd get a bit warm trailing up there on a night, but um, daytime, the burgers, omelets, things like that. Been up there before for lunch. It's stunning. So I'm walking back towards Akrotiri. I'm going to show you that, which is just up here. Up this hill, another hill, full of hills. Um, I'm going to try and find the fabled path, the path of myth and legend that brings you out at Town Pizza. Not, yeah, not Town Pizza. Uh, Tasty Corner. Getting mixed up, it's too early. So, yeah, I'll show you if I find it and I'll give you a quick look at Akrotiri in a moment. There we go, just look at that view. Come on. What more do you want? Look at that. Once again, that's the Rillis down there. But yeah, that's the next sort of major village, main village. You've got a Rillis there, and then over the other side you've got San Stefanos. So you can just see there, there is the coastal path. There, if you see right in front of the camera, somewhere about there, that's the coastal path that goes down and leads you into a Rillis down there. So, lovely place, a Rillis. A bit quieter, but if you've never been and you can get there for the day, please do. Lovely beach. Um, got the views there of the island. Just stunning. Right, onwards. So there's Akrotiri. Another absolute corking place. I and mean, look at the view down there. So down towards a little church up, up on that headland there. But just what a place. Again, cracking milkshakes. Everything you'd want. Now, I think this maybe the path I can't see it being anything else but I could be wrong it just looks like a dead end down there so I don't think that's it so I'm just going to go back the other way I think which way way I can so yeah back down the way we came I hope you can hear me the wind seems to be getting up a bit I might have to put the uh, wind setting on but yeah we're just going down there it's Costas down there from Gravia on his bike God, there is a breeze now. A better view there of that. Well, I said so earlier what it used to be. Well, like it used to be some kind of taverna. I'd love to know. If you've been here before, put, put a comment in the comment section on YouTube down below. Let me know um, if you've ever been there or you've ever seen it open. I don't think I have, but 
we've only I think I've only ever really been up this way like I say two or three times and it was always in the last sort of three four years so I, I, it might have been something that was open a while ago but let's keep going down the hill I'm gonna drop down to a lower level I think where the wind's not gonna bother me as much and I'll see you further back down I think that view's not great but it gives you a good idea of how compact this village is so you can see Condor over there you know you think Condor so like halfway down the middle of the road and it is but it's not it's not far at all as the crow flies it's um it's a great village this if you've got mobility issues in the main as long as you stay down in the middle so Barris, Little Prince, Thomas Bay, Silver Moon, uh, Jasmine, Peros you know they're all flat Rose Garden is to an extent it's a bit further out as is as is myth mythos but all decent places to stay um, so yeah thoroughly recommend any of those if you've got mobility issues you've got the superb ones as well like Navseeker right up there on the hill up there you've got Romanza um, you've got Capitanos you've got the superb Teresa but again you know you have got to go up hill to get there so if you've got mobility issues I wouldn't recommend it so there's somebody over there, look, and you know, you're not using two people with a bag. They're obviously going up the fabled town pizza path, which I know where you go up it, but I don't know where you come down it from the top. So that's going to be my next challenge. So we'll have a look at that one uh, in a couple of days, I think. So yeah, let's get back down this hill. Nearly home now. Back down the hill. So I'm back down where I started at the car park there. From Yannis, you'll see behind me town pizza, hopefully. Um, great place again. If you want to take pizza, get takeaway, brought to your apartments all good so look thanks for watching uh if you haven't subscribed please do it's free i mean you can get youtube premium which costs about 11 quid a month but you don't have to you'll just get some adverts but if you can click a little like on the thumbs up on the youtube channel comments welcome as long as they're clean don't want any insults um or else i'll get into trouble then fire away you know please do it helps it helps get the uh this this video seen to more people helps the algorithm as the kids call it i think so Thanks for watching. I have got other ones to come. I've done previous stuff, but it, you know it's like out here, the wi is patchy. It takes ages to upload. You're not charging things as easily, quad bike, as easy as you could do because quite frankly, you've not got as many plugs and they don't charge as quick. So trying to get the phones done, trying to get everything else, it can be a pain. Um, so I'm gonna try and do some shorter vlogs, I think, then do a one long one that kind of encompasses a bit of everything. So thanks for watching and I'll see you when I do another one. Cheers.